folks, how are you today? Sunday, doing a church service, uh, almost done. Last load of the day, unless they dispatchers, Donnie and uh, Kelly get a hold of me and uh, ask me to do more. But for now, it's the last load, and we got some action going on here at the old facility. Oh, Finley Campbell Soup, we're at uh, right now, the DHLs, and uh, something went wrong. This kind of stinks because I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to go that way. Usually I need to go that way. I'm just gonna have to pull out and go that way since they're all up in the way because I can't pull out and go that way because, well, obviously they're in the way. So when I pull, I'm gonna have to go that way. But uh, yeah, we gotta get we gotta get this stay over with at home because we got things to do, man. I got those hem joints, I think on Monday or Tuesday. I think Tuesday they came, no, they came on Monday. Yeah, they came on Monday when I was putting that fifth wheel on this truck and um, I gotta get that thing taken care of. I've been neglecting to do it because I just needed a break and stuff. And Friday I had to do some other things, do some new LED lights in here, which we get out and check them out real quick because uh, I don't know if the ones that I had gotten that I had put in and talked about, I had problems with were, maybe needed a better fuse or something in the box. Maybe they weren't for 12 volt, maybe they needed just more and I didn't have enough to give it to them. So I don't know what's going on with those. But I just ordered all new set and replaced them. Obviously you can see, we got bang, we got bang. And they're a little bit brighter than the other ones anyways. I'll kick the brights on real quick. I mean, it's daytime and you wouldn't be able to tell, but at least you can see, you can see, because you can see. So, boom. Boom, bada bling, bada boom, new light. So I gotta do, and this thing got super grubby on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was the last day I ran it. Super nasty, I think they're like pulling the river bottom or something out of uh, putting a new bridge up over there and it's just freaking gross. And that truck got trashed, and I'm talking trashed. Sorry you're moving around so much, I'm trying to put my gloves on because well, I'm trying to work while I do this. And uh, that's the side of a trailer if you've never seen one before because, well, it's just what it is. But yeah, last episode of church, or load at least for today, and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna work on the blue truck because we've gotta get that hem joint replaced. I should probably turn my brights off because they don't need to be on all those uh, emergency vehicles there. So yeah, it's what we got going on. So when I get home, we'll be back. So until then, you know what we say, we will see ya. That is the hem joint that I'd been waiting on for I don't know how long, too long, three weeks I think, maybe four, for the blue chalk. Um, got the cab jacked up already, just got back a little bit ago from church, Sunday fun day, working the green chalk, and it's pretty much done. I think the transmission is going out. Um, I always had problems with that thing for some reason and I think it's pretty much done because I was going to shift from fourth into fifth and the thing popped out of gear, started sound like it was grinding and I couldn't get the shifter out. So I'm pretty sure that's done. Uh, just went and snagged up my eyes on Betty White's and she's got a, this had a 1406 RTO 1406 609b something like that in it um but it was replaced by this rockwell and i think this rockwell's junk and i hate it and i'm not exactly sure what the uh tag is on that maybe i can get my eyes on it yeah you know, right there let me see if i can see what it says nothing that's worth a fuck to tell you i can tell you that much right now besides it's junk and i don't you know i don't necessarily feel comfortable it's windy out sorry running that anymore with that acting like that because i don't want it to be under load and that thing go out on me and then have to pay for a tow bill you know all that stuff so it's pretty much going to be here until it can get swapped out or you know and figure something else out but yeah this one's got the tag right here so r1 e or f 12069a and i really don't want a nine a transmission because that doesn't have overdrive on it who knows what the rpms are going to be and this has a eating in it also and i have to look on the door tag for it but anyways let's get on this the hem joint because that's what we're getting to so that thing's down but um uh, probably 
that's why I haven't been running this because of the hem joint. Uh, I basically got to take off back here and I cleaned some of this grease up so I don't get it all over myself because I'm be in this corner working with no room. I got to take this bolt off that's back here, unhook this, that's like this guy right here, and then get this guy off right here, which I'll show you when I get it off. It just does this jig. And I got to put that hem joint in it because it goes to the rod that is right here that I've got uh, zip tight on there because that was the only way I could get this thing to move from wash bay one over here and then it goes back there to where it hooks up to the clutch which I replaced that hem joint because it blew out on me maybe a month and a half two months ago so yeah these are you know good times but yeah that's why I haven't been running this truck a guy commented and asked why I hadn't been running that truck well that truck is just a backup truck Frankenstein's the main truck because it's got the air ride and stuff like that in in the winter time It is a lot easier to get around in because it has the air ride and All that good stuff on it. Let me see if I can find his name Real quick so We can talk about it Because I told him I'd give him a shout out Because he was asking why and I said, have you not been watching the videos? Are you new here? And then he said, no, he just didn't know what was going on. He hadn't watched for a while. And I cannot find this anywhere through my notifications. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Try and watch somebody's video here. I think James Pretty. And if I need any help, I'm going to call him up about that transmission if I swap that out myself or watch his video because he actually did that. So, that's what I'm talking about. I oh, can't seem to find it. I'll have to get back with you on that. But, uh, yeah, he was asking about why I wasn't working it. So, that's why, because that hem joint, I waited forever from Fat X, said they had it like that weekend i think i ordered on a tuesday they had it friday said it shipped out then it ended up going back so it was a big old debacle and a bunch of bs which uh kind of irritated me and then they contacted the gal of the place that sent them out in first place and i wanted to get these ones because yeah i can get these anywhere mostly except they have that nylon washer in there and i've got to heat this up and basically weld it into what I'm going to take off and I'll show you what I'm going to do and then I'm going to do it and then I'm going to put it on and then we'll hook it back up and move the truck but they have the nylon washer that's in there and that stuff just melts off so then this guy right here is free to move around in there and it can pop out and we don't want that but so that's what happened with the blue truck and I'm going to have to throw a seat in it and everything which is over there and, and basically get that thing ready so I can run it because like I said, I just don't feel comfortable running a green truck because if something happens, then I'm screwed. And hopefully this won't take me too long to do. And I mean, worst case scenario, if I have to take the one out of Betty White, I will because I can't really find any 9Bs anywhere. Not sure where I can find an actual 13 speed because I wouldn't mind throwing an A in there that I can transfer over to a 13. But are the gear, gears going to be, you know, good and is it going to drop down? To the rpms and is it going to go the speed i want it to go because sometimes when you change out transmissions you lose speed and stuff and uh that's not what i want to do i don't want to lose any speed or anything like that so i don't know by the time you see this video it'll probably be done hopefully and uh whatever you comment probably it's not going to matter because it, hopefully it'll be done and i'll be running again but you never know so i'm gonna go and hook all that stuff and get it taken out so i can bring you back and show you what i'm talking about what needs to be done and I'm going to do it, so. Well, folks, we got her taken apart. Uh, I got a little illustration down here of what this is and uh, how it works and stuff like that. Well, it's not really an illustration, but this is the piece right here that goes against the um, frame like that. And there's a hole in there. And this guy right here goes right in there. And this guy was in there. And I just do that zip tie on and hooked them around there like that. That way I could get enough to, to swing him back and forth. And this guy right here hooks up to the front that goes up to where the clutch, you know, goes across. And I don't know what you want to call it. There's 
basically a bar that comes down like that, that hooks up from the back and hooks up through right here and this guy is going to have to go in there like that and there's really no way to do anything and there's no room so what i'm going to have to do is weld that in cut that off and then smooth that down because there's you know it, there's there's no room in there for that to you know put a back on or anything it's just how it is and that's how it was when i got it and um this guy right here snapped off the first time it just got wore down too much and obviously you can see this one had the nylon in it and i still got that zip tie on there and that thing just wore out the nylon was gone and the ball the the well just ended up breaking off of it and i you know that was two summers ago that that happened so this is going to get taken care of now so i'm gonna you know take this in there clean it up a little bit weld it in there cut that off and then smooth it down to where i don't have anything to worry about so hopefully that'll work and hold and i don't have any issues with that truck because well like i said before i need to work it i need to work that truck because i'm out of a truck i'm out of two trucks right now because of the tranny and the green truck so that'll be you know something i further dig into tomorrow call around and see if there's any transmissions that i'm interested in anywhere close that wouldn't take too much to go over and get it and you know either bring it back here and do it or take it to the shop and have my buddy swap them out because i could really care less about that rockwell and if i have to pay a um core charge whatever i'm not really worried about it so that is the task that's at hand right now because that blue truck needs to be able to work so well folks we're back and uh we got her we got her at uh couple spots there on the front did the front there just a little bit and i got the back i'm pretty sure good enough um not a welder don't have a welding machine don't have anything like that but i have braze welded before when i worked at bard manufacturing so that's what i did i just braze welded this in there and obviously i've got to cut that down right there and uh smooth it out so it's smooth and i'll probably run some more stuff around the the top there once i get done to uh check it and once i cut that down and smooth it out um you know i'll check to make sure everything's cool with the bottom side where that bolt actually goes in basically just use this right here because while well, this is a laboratory right there because i don't want to burn any wood up here or anything and uh that's what i'm working with so it's what it is you're probably thinking to yourself well you should have used a welder or taken it somewhere and got it welded on well I braze welded it on there so we'll see how it works you know that nylon didn't melt because well there wasn't any in there so it's what it is so i guess um that's what we're gonna go with um throw it up there and get the cutoff tool off whack that off and smooth it out and see what it looks like um tried to melt that stuff so it'd go down in there hopefully it went down in there because that's what i needed was for it to go down in there and if i got up light that fire again and you know heat it up and do some more and try to get it down in there i will so yeah just use this right here easy to use ultra high strength twice as strong as brass bond steel to cast iron makes brazing easy special flux coating ideal for sheet metal we ain't using it for sheet metal but um what it is well, that's what we got folks right there So that's what it is. This part is obsolete. You can't get this anymore. That's basically why I have to do this every time something happens and uh, it messes up. So I'm going to put this back on now and I'm going to hook the rest of it up and uh, see if she works. I'm going to have to loosen up that clutch bolt. I know that right now because I got her down in too far and uh, we'd have too much clutch. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the center bolt in first, how it goes. Then I'm going to hook up this guy. And then I'm going to run that rod and thread that in to the rod. And then I will, let's go out there. I'll explain it a little bit better instead of just shoving that part around in your face. Because uh, maybe you don't understand. But uh, I'll at least show you. Now get this guy right down in here, right where that hole is right there. If you can see that hole right there, that's where the big bolt goes. It's uh, right there. It takes the three quarters to get off. And then the front guy is up in here which it takes a half inch and I'm uh, not sure if I can get that rod right there he is see that rod right there hello and in the back rod I have off right now 
which is sitting right there. And I'll just shove him back through, twizzle him onto here, and then hook him up back under here where he goes back under there. It's hard to see, so I'm not gonna show you, but once I get that done, then I can get under here and loosen this guy up right here because he don't need to be as tight as he is. He can probably come back off and some. So that's what we got going on right now. We'll get that taken care of and um, boom, we could clutch again. Boom, we got blue chalk. Boom, I gotta get that seat in there. Then boom, we are gonna check it out and see how it goes. Uh, I'm not gonna be happy with that seat, but I'm gonna have to deal with it because oh, Big Frank's down for a while, so whatever. Well, folks, she's done. Seat's in, we're about to go fire it up. You know how it is. You got toasted up. Seats in, job's done. Let's see if we can fire it up because it hasn't been fired up in probably two weeks. And Jonathan Hayes, Haynes, sorry Jonathan, was the gentleman that commented asking about the blue truck. And it's been three days, four days since he commented, so. Boom. Blue truck is running. Oh, Cummins is alive. Probably smoke. Some white smoke. Because that's what it does. And uh, it'll be nice to run this thing. Smoke in there. Wash it up tomorrow. I'll swap my tools around. Everything I need. Just probably grab the basics. Because it won't take everything out of here. Because once this gets taken care of which I honestly could probably run it if I just jump from third to fifth but I don't really want to and uh, every time I go to flip the splitter to go over it kind of makes a weird grind noise I don't like it so we run in the blue truck instead of the green truck for a few days but uh, once this thing builds some air I'll jump in and move it around should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, man, that thing's nice and quiet. And we'll get that taken care of. Because we need to. So tomorrow morning, I'll wake up and I'll start making some phone calls and see what I can find. Because I don't want to put that transmission from Betty White in there. So that's what it is. Put some air build here. Oh, we got to piss out the side because well, I always dump the air. Take the care of. It's good. Get this off there. That way we don't lose it. And then we'll move around real quick. Make sure we're good because I got that clutch bolt adjusted pretty much basically where it was before when I put that bolt in for uh, that linkage. And it uh, should be good, but um, only time will tell in a few minutes. Uh, should probably run it down the road, but I really don't feel like driving in the grass. I have to move the Frankenstein around. I don't really have a much fuel in there because I didn't fill up. So I should be able to move it and be fine because I'm going to end up moving it. I don't know if today or tomorrow to where the blue truck is for now so it can sit there because I got too many trucks in the driveway. And one's going to have to go, and it's probably going to be Betty White. So keep your eyes peeled for that thing coming on the market when the time comes, which will probably be sooner than later because, well, I'm going to call about that VIN sticker, and if I don't get it, I may just let it go on a bill of sale, do what I got to do, you know, because, well, it's really uh, nothing but a parts truck right now, and I feel bad for it, and it really deserves to get some love but it just ain't gonna happen for me right now because I don't have the time or the space in the driveway so we'll see you in a minute well I think that's not fair I think that's not fair it's probably got enough air so let's see what we got here 90 psi that's not fair let's stick right here like so I'm sure how your view will be but um, that's what you're getting 
close to personal, I can tell you that much right now, probably. Okay. We're in gear. And we're moving. I uh, didn't adjust that bolt in, and I probably won't have to, so we are good. Probably good to go. this thing I'm gonna shut it down because while well, I did what I needed to do um, run it down the road make sure everything's cool check that clutch bolt if I need to adjust it I will I'll do that while I'm working too because I can slide right under there and do it and um, yeah. we got the blue truck back so that's good news now we just need to get the uh, green truck back because that's important because that's our workhorse so the blue truck can sit and i'll wash it up you know make it sex it up make it all pretty and stuff for uh tomorrow want to work the thing again let the old dispatch know this is what i'm running which really don't matter it's just a matter of making sure the fuel for my uh card is right when I do the mileage since I run off that fuel mileage and it's higher than this one that's 396 I think and this is 287 for the mileage on the tack for when I fill up and uh we're good to go we will be good to make some money because that's what we do with our trucks we're old school cab overs yeah we're running we're running rough tomorrow. We're going to be back in a rough rider. Rough rider, yo. Oh, no. We're in the rough rider, yo. Rocking out the pure white trashness. Again, until we can get the Frankenstein back rolling. Like I said, I could probably go from third to fifth, but no, I don't want to, especially when I'm loaded just not um in the cards and you know teasing and messing with that fourth gear if that thing goes out on me and that sticks to where i can't get it out then i'm going to be sol and i don't want to be sol and have to pay for a tow or anything like that because that wouldn't be fun and i like my money and i don't want to spend it on that so i guess when i come back with some updates in a few days i'll let you know what's going on with the green truck and uh how the blue chalk's running because we'll probably do some footage while we're running the blue chalk because that's what we do that's what kind of guy we are so like share subscribe tell your friends till then you know what we say we will see ya